How's it going, YouTube? Lenny with Boso's Lawn Care. Uh, we're doing a review on my mowers today. Uh, today's December 12, 2018. Um, getting ready to load them up, uh, take them to uh, storage for the winter season here. Uh, leaf cleanups were all done last week. Um, cleaned the mowers best I could, best they're going to get. Uh, greased everything. Uh, getting there get it all ready to go to uh, storage uh, What we're looking at here is a Toro grandstand. It's a 2016 Toro grandstand. I bought brand new uh, from my dealer uh, It is a 40 inch turbo force deck um, Let's see how many hours we got <clears throat> We got 99.7 hours uh, on the mower uh, like I said, I did buy it brand new. It had zero hours when I bought it um, uh, in 2016. Uh, I use it quite a bit. Um, I don't have really big properties that uh, I'm on it for hours at a time. Uh, my, my properties range from about a half acre to about an acre. Uh, I think the longest I'm on this mower in my current route is about 40 minutes. Um, that's that's about my longest I'm on that mower for. Uh, all in all, good mower. Uh, has a bagger on it. Uh, I do bag some grass with this mower weekly. Um, hoping to get away from that here pretty soon. Um, I don't like to bag grass. It just takes so long. Then I got to get rid of it, haul it away. Um, but do what I got to do to get the job done um, thinking about upgrading the bagger to maybe like an accelerator bagger or something like that maybe something a little bigger um, that that bagging system come off a uh, uh, Toro I think it was a pro line or, or something like that a little walk behind mower 36 inch mower that I have um, it doesn't run right now uh, looking to get that running here uh, this winter's going to be a winter project try to get it running maybe sell it in the spring if I can um, all in all good mower uh, no major issues or problems uh, had to replace starter solenoid uh, just like I had to do that on my, my Z master also um, other than that I uh, haven't had no problems uh, so far uh, Take a picture. Look at it front. <clears throat> so just under 100 hours. Uh, oil gets changed twice a year. Gets changed in the springtime. Gets changed um, right around Fourth of July before it gets really hot. Uh, I don't always change the filter the second time. Uh, this year I did change the filter on both uh, mowers at at the second change. Um, let's uh let's do some of the things that i i don't look, i like about it first of all turbo force deck i love both of my turbo force decks they they have performed very well for me in some tall thick grass um they 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 seem to now it's not a brush hog it won't cut that kind of stuff but it does it does leave a good cut uh, i gotta keep the blade sharp uh i change them out about every other day every two days depending on conditions and what yards i have um and then once you know it slows down i'll, I'll wait i'll do it once a week um like i said it, it cuts amazing stripes um i have a stripe kit on my my z master uh this thing does not have a stripe kit uh and this thing will strike better than that thing most of the time uh depending on the grass type um else i like about it is i love the the um mobility about being able to flip up the back um platform and stand behind it um or put it down and ride behind it uh, i do have some hills that i do with this mower uh, and it does hold the hill fairly well uh, as long as it's dry um if it's wet it doesn't like it too much but if it's dry it's it's, it's pretty good um the bagging capability, like I said, with this bagger, uh, it, it's not that good. The hole is pretty small, uh, and if the grass is a little bit damp, if like if it's dewy in the morning, it will clog up. 
Um, that's why I'm thinking about maybe upgrading to an accelerator bagger. See if that if that does any better. Um, if you have any experience with that, please please put it in the comments and let me know. Send me a message. I, I'd appreciate it. Um, I love the like I said, being able to stand up. You're up high. You're able to see out in front better. Uh, see obstacles in the yard. Um, things of that thing nature. I have some commercial properties that I do that are next to highways or uh, roadways anyways and you'd be amazed at the stuff that must get flung out of cars that you can't see um, unless you're standing up high uh, which is a great safety thing um, other things I like about the mower is the way the controls are set up everything's right down there in front of you you don't have to look down in, in you know below you or anything things right there in front of you you can see very easy um everything uh some of the things that i don't like um besides the bagging system is this mower is like i said a 2016 and um i believe right after i bought this they changed it um and i thought i was getting the newer style but for some reason, the dealer got me this one after he told me he was going to get me the newer style, which was no big deal, which is fine. But on this model, the motor is actually bolted to the deck. So the motor goes up and down with the deck. Um, the motor is a Kawasaki FS541V. Um it's not a real big deal it wasn't a game changer for me I, I you know I learned to live with it um, but the deck is so heavy when you put it down um, it has springs on it that help you lift it which is no big deal but with the deck down and say you, you know you're coming up to a hillside the deck instead of riding up on the hillside will dig into the hillside because it's you know it's got all that weight on it um, and the another thing I don't care for is the gas tank um, as you can see the gas gauge is all fogged over you can't see it it's been like that for a couple months now I don't know why uh, I know the newer styles have a clear gas tank which I wish I would have gotten um, other than those two things um, everything's been great uh, this one doesn't have no has I believe one grease fitting on the deck and then a couple of grease fittings on the pivots for the where the deck bolts to the mower um which is good because i i know some of the mowers out there have a gazillion of them um another thing i i didn't care for too much is the way the emergency brake it's into the tire um it's not that it does it doesn't harm the tire it just doesn't hold that well um especially on the trailer it doesn't sometimes um, the mower will move a little bit and it'll actually push the brake just engage the brake I should say um, but uh, I just I just put a strap on it now I don't I don't let it just it rely on that that brake I do put a strap on it um, other than that like I said the gas gauge is not reliable I can't even see it anymore um, so I have to talk to the dealer about that, see if I can't get a replacement or, or get it fixed somehow. Um, but all great mower. Um, uh, I will say this is when you're standing on it, the traction is excellent. Um, it tracks real well. It doesn't it doesn't slide around as as much as I thought it would. Um, when you're walking behind it, and you're not standing on it. It's not so great. Uh, it does like to slide around on you. Um, other than that, it's been an awesome mower. No big issues. Cuts great. Uh, as you can tell if you watch my other two videos, I am a Toro fan. <coughs> I have a dealer pretty close to me. so um, And he's a good dealer. He's been good to me these past years since I've started my business. But uh, I've always ran Toros. Um, I haven't really tested any other, other uh, brands. To, to compare them to another brand so i won't do that but um 
I will stick to Toro and I will buy another Toro if, if I need be. Um, that said, uh, thanks for watching. Please comment. And, oh, wait, another thing. Let me ask you ask guys this. Does anybody know who sells it or what's it called? But I'm looking for a shoot blocker to put on this mower. Um, I haven't found one yet. I'm kicking around the idea of making my own, maybe. If I can um, come up with some kind of engineering on it, see what I can do. Uh, but if you know of a company that makes one for this 40 inch, I've seen them for 52s, but I have not seen them for the 40 inch. Um, so if you could uh, put a comment down below or send me a message or something, uh, I'd, I'd appreciate it. I am looking to do get that. I could probably uh, get away with bagging a couple of yards if I had a shoot blocker on it. Um, but uh, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, find Bosos Lawn Care on Instagram at Bosos Lawn Care. Uh, I try to post on there regularly, at least once a week, um, since the season's been been, do been done. Um, but uh, hi, Kitty. <sighs> thanks for watching. Again, this is Lenny with Bosos Lawn Care.